Good afternoon, everybody. This is Rani uh, for another tutorial today. Uh, I'm going to tell you a, a little bit more about creating frames and all kinds of different frames with Canva. So uh, this tutorial was inspired by a question asked by Dana. Dana asked us in the group, uh, I copied this from my niece. Anyone can explain me how I can make a border this color? All right, so this is a, the, the visual that she's talking about. So the first thing I did is to copy this visual and I'm going to import this into Canva to analyze how it's been made. So let's do this. Hey, do you want to learn how to use Canva like a pro? Well, I can certainly help you with that and teach you all of my secrets. I have put together a five hour master course about Canva that will take you from zero to Picasso in only one day. If you like that idea, make sure you click on the first link in the description below to get your discounted coupon. Um, but first, yes, we create a document. So that was a squared canvas. So just using the social media Canva here. There we go. We have our squared Canva. So the next thing I will do is import the photo into Canva so I can have a deeper look and see how it's made. All right, it's uploading here. I'm going to create a second page and import the visual here. I can make this bigger so I can have a nice, good, nice look at how this is made. All right. So um, I understand your difficulty because there is no such thing as kind of like a frame like this, which would be um, a placeholder for you to drop another photo inside. I don't think there is something like this in Canva. So there is a simple way around this and I'm going to show you how. All right. So the first thing we need to do is to grab this pink color. OK, so I'm going to use my color picker here. Uh, those of you who don't have a color picker extension, uh, I, I strongly recommend you get one until Canva decides to put one in its uh, in its app. Um, it's very useful. It helps me grab any color. So you just go in your Chrome or Firefox extension um, search engine and you just go for eyedropper or color picker. You install this and you will have something similar to this. OK, so I'm pretty happy with this one. I don't know exactly how it's called. Here it says eyedropper. I've been using this for several years now and it's very nice. All right, so now I have the hex code of this pink, just copying it. And I will create a background of that same pink color, just like this. All right, so now we have the base, which is this. Next, the trick is we will use a squared frame uh, you know, these frames right here. So if I go to elements frames, so these are shapes where, and you can drop whatever uh, photo inside of it. So that's the trick that we are going to use. We are going to find the square shape, um, the square frame, sorry, with no borders, no anything, just a simple square. And this is the one. Uh, so I'm going to click on the first page, insert the frame there make this a little bit bigger okay kind of looks like this one yep all right so that's the first part of it and then some of you may have guessed it what we're going to do is to find this kind of like golden uh, foil whatever like golden background uh, we need to find something like this and drop it in this frame so let's see if canva has something like this uh, maybe in the gradients let me see if I can find some gold. I'm a gold digger today. No, don't see any gold. All right, so we're going to go to good old Google, Google Images, and I'm going to search for golden, what? Golden gradient. Yep. All right, so these are all the golden gradients. I want something of high resolution, so I'm going to use the tools size large all right so i'm sure that the image google is showing me here uh, is a big nice uh, resolution so i kind of like this one so i can go ahead click on this yes this is quite nice this one is also eh, this is more like gold uh, this one sorry so right click uh, save image as i'm gonna save this to my my desktop it's there grab it, drop it in Canva. There we go. 
So now it's uploading here. I'm gonna give Canva a little bit of time. And the next thing, I'm just going to drop this metallic golden background into my frame. So I select the frame and I just drag and drop. There you go. So we have this um, golden square now. And what we have to do is add another square, which will be the pink color. You guessed it. So for this, I'm just going to my elements, shapes, And the simple uh, square right here, make this smaller, center it, and just change the color for pink. And there we go. That's how we recreate this frame. And then you can adjust this if you want the frame to be a bit thinner. It's very convenient because it's centered. So it's, it basically guarantees that this frame is the same size everywhere. So there you go. Um, that's how you create this kind of design. This is a little trick if you want to create any kind of frames. It doesn't have to be golden. You can group it like this. So let me show you, for example, if I had liked another kind of color here, uh, for example, one of the gradients that Canva has um, in store. Let me see, for example, uh, this purple would be nice. Just go like this and there you go you can create, you can give this frame any content you like. All right, I hope you liked this video. Um, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the little bell right there so you will have a notification every time I upload a new video. And that's it for me today, guys. I wish you a very creative day.